So I think that there's kind of a few points, and just to echo um, what Pablo said, I think volume's a big one, uh, and it ties into a sales perspective. I mean, um, Statista did some research and found there's some like uh, 347 billion emails were sent and received um, in back in 2022, um, and that's from roughly somewhere around four billion users. So you, there's a massive amount of emails that are going around. Uh, so follow-up really nowadays is absolutely key for sales. Uh, I think I saw another stat that was around uh, the amount of salespeople that don't even follow up. And it's about, it's nearly half. I think it's literally just a shade under half, 40, 48%, I think it was, never even make a single follow-up attempt. Um, so with that kind of volume of emails, follow-up is key because it's so easy for something to be missed. But kind of linked into that, some trends with the actual content from what I've seen um, because of the volume, there's less patience and time uh, for reading emails just uh, from a day-to-day -day basis. That means we have to make them more concise. Um, there was a report in 2018 that said people spent about 13 and a half seconds on average of every, every, looking at every email. Uh, the most recent version of that, it's come down to just nine. So your email has to have a reading time of less than nine seconds, really, for someone to be able to take it in and understand the full content of it, which is crazy. Um, I think also there's an element of um, needing to do more and be more um, savvy, if we like, with the way we personalize emails. We can't we can't lean on first name and job title or what college they went to or what university they went to is trying to demonstrate personalization. We have to make sure it's even more relevant and actually getting that way and across that people are, are able to engage with it within that nine seconds. Uh, and there's tools out there that help do that, um, which can act as pattern interrupts as well, which I think are increasing. So things like Vidyard, uh, where you can insert video email uh, videos into email rather than writing text. Um, I think the the latest data from their own platform for Vidyard found that prospecting with a video, for example, means you're actually 10 times more likely to get a response uh, than just writing. So using these different elements is now a critical part of a salesperson's toolkit. You can't rely on just text anymore. Um, and I think the final piece is just being very conscious that as salespeople, we tend to work from laptops and desktops, um, whereas we see emails one way. Uh, the average user is going to see that on a mobile screen. Uh, so um, I think you look at um, open rates, uh, they've gone up um, from mobile devices by more than 100% in the last over the last decade or so. Uh, and I think it's now about 81% of all emails are opened on mobile devices. So if your email isn't optimized for a mobile device, what looks perfectly readable and acceptable for you on a desktop screen, imagine what that looks like on your phone screen and how much text there appears on that small screen there. And that, they're the things I think from a, a sender's perspective we have to be conscious of because that's the way, A, people are going to understand what you're trying to say, and B, you're going to give them the best opportunity to actually engage with all your content.